Well, it's such a privilege to join you on this Good Friday to take a very short look at the final words of Jesus Christ from the cross. They're meaningful words because they're the words of the sinless Savior, God in the flesh, as He bears the weight of sin and rescues His people. Our goal, the leadership of Sunbury City Church, Stonington Baptist Church, and Emmanuel Bible Fellowship Church, is to look at each of these words, to reflect on our Redeemer, and to point each of us toward application from the Word of God as you view these videos from wherever you are today. So, without further delay, we want to make a quick transition. Turn in your Bibles with me to Luke 23, 34. Luke transitions quickly as well in a matter of verses from Simon of Cyrene carrying the cross for the, the brutally beaten Jesus to the king of the universe hanging on a cross between two criminals. And Jesus utters these words, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. We need to zoom in on the context of that and, and understand that as these Roman soldiers are nailing Jesus to the cross to accomplish the work that God has already set before him, he says, forgive them. The entire world's about to change forever. The, the trajectory of eternity for these Roman guards hangs in the balance and they're ignorantly gambling over the clothes of Jesus. They have no clue what's happening on the cross because they don't care. And in this small snapshot, he prays to the Father pleading to forgive his enemies. And if we pull away from Calvary's hill and we look at the entirety of the gospel, the big picture of God's word, we see that those words don't just apply to the bloodthirsty Jewish leaders or Rome's finest soldiers. Jesus is accomplishing the same for those he loves. He's bearing the weight of our sin on the cross. He's satisfying the wrath of the Father for those of us that apart from him are his enemies. On that cross, Jesus was setting himself under the judgment of God alone. He knew that judgment was coming, the judgment that each one of us justly deserved. Rather than saying, Father, get them. They deserve what's coming. He says, forgive them. And he takes every ounce of that punishment that you and I deserve. Romans 5.8 reminds us that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Don't pass by that because you've heard it many times. While you were sinning, while you were sinning, Christ was dying for that sin. While you were the enemy of the one who created you, while you were actively opposed to the mercy and the grace of the Lord, Jesus pleads for our forgiveness and he pays for it with his own blood. Church, those of you who are in Christ, you will never experience what it's like to die a sin-bearing death because of the forgiveness of God through Christ. How can we apply this? Very quickly, let, uh, let's let Jesus Christ be our motivation and our model. Let's live so sincere to the identity we have in Jesus Christ that we want others to experience that same forgiveness. Let's be motivated by looking to Christ often, understanding that we've gone from death to life, darkness to light, enemy of God to child of God, and let that propel us to first of all love God with my heart, mind, soul, and strength, and then to love my neighbor as myself, meaning I want for them the same forgiveness that I have for myself. I've been forgiven, a sinning sinner, and I want that for every person I know and for everyone I don't know as well. That's a motivation that will last, and I ask you, who will you share this unparalleled forgiveness with? We also look to Jesus as our model. When I read of what Christ endured on the cross, I'm astonished at the way he loves those who hated him. It doesn't stop at astonishment though. It has to penetrate my heart. It has to compel me to live in a similar manner. I won't do it as perfectly as he has, and that's not the point, but by the grace of God, we can grow to be people who forgive others, even in the most difficult of circumstances, because we worship a Savior who does that very thing. So spend time today reflecting on the cross. Let that motivate you to reach out to someone else who needs to experience the forgiveness of Christ. Then spend time looking at the model that Jesus has given us and pick up the phone and make it right with someone else. I want to go back to those Roman guards. Jesus prays to the Father for him to forgive them for their ignorance at the foot of the cross. And after he dies that brutal death, at least one of them experiences that forgiveness completely. It says in verse 47, Now when the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God, saying, Certainly this man was innocent. 
I simply want to close by saying that if you do not know Jesus Christ, if you have never believed, he offers that same forgiveness to you. There's more to come throughout the day today on our Facebook pages through these seven sayings uh, on the hour and then the full video available at 7 p.m. tonight. Be well, church. Christ be glorified. It is indeed a good Friday.